First up is Asia Balenciaga. Now, you probably already seen this clip before, but Asia was definitely on one from her hands, her poses, her emoting. Asia was really, really in it. Like, get into Asia. Get in. She is really breaking this down. And for her to be the first one to come out, she looks good. The catwalk is catwalking. Everything is doing what it's supposed to do. She's beat to beat. Asia was doing her fucking shit. It, you just can't deny Asia. And I think the reason why Asia got chopped, because she does get chopped, is because Asia was voguing like it was legendary performance. Now, granted, it looked good. Everything looked perfect. Everything, like, it really had that oomph to it. But judges feel a certain type of way when you haven't been deemed legend and you're voguing like a legend. But Asia was voguing like legend. And so three months after this ball, Asia gets deemed at latex. But I can't believe Asia got chopped. Like, I don't know if they wanted to see more spins and dips because that was a worthy tense performance for 15. Asia looked like. Next up is Allison Prodigy serving us this all black number. I like Allison because her performance is very unique to her. There's a lot of stretch in her performance and there's a lot of lines that you can see in her performance. But she does it her own way. She has like her own unique flair and her own unique style. Like she's not trying to be anybody else. When you watch Allison vote, this is Allison. I really wonder who her influences are because it's kind of hard to tell for me. But one thing I did really appreciate about, appreciate about her tents was this Prince Milan dip that she kind of does like that was so Prince Milan coded the way she went into that dip but she was so beat to beat her lines were pretty she looks pretty and she's like a girl of her own womanhood like she's not trying to be anybody else Allison is Allison and she's so feminine with that I love Allison next up is legendary Tiffany Prodigy serving us this all blue sequin katsu this burgundy hair Tiffany looks good my whole thing with Tiffany is that she fell out of every single dip and she's used to falling out of her dips and getting tens and winning battles. So that's what that's why people go out and do that. That's why people go out and fall out of dips because they're used to getting tens for it. And at this ball, anybody that fell out of a dip was getting chopped. And you can kind of hear Ashley in the background talking about it. Next up is Milan Balenciaga. Oh, catch Red in the background. Rest in peace, Red man. Milan looks good. I love this cast too. I think it says like girl fucking power or fucking girl power or girl fuck you. <laughs> Milan looks really good. I'm gonna be honest, if Asia got chopped, Milan could have been chopped too. I don't think Milan really did anything more than just go out there and look pretty. Like her tents were very lukewarm to me. And if it was given like, oh I want these, I want entertaining, da 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 tents. I don't know, I don't think Milan had that. If, if Milan got tents, Asia could have got tents. Maybe there was a personal vendetta against Asia that night. Next up is Kamaya. She's still at Ebony at this time.
Kamaya looks sickening. I love this like red bodysuit. And her catwalk was on fucking fire. Kamaya is a Kamaya is the second person that I feel like really deserved her tents. I still feel like Asia deserved her tents, but let me get up off of Asia. Baby, Kamaya was just in that. Like her storytelling for her tents were so dope. And I love when Kamaya does that dip because it works so well for her. Her elements were crisp, they were exciting. Kamaya's tens was 1500 from beginning to end. Like, it's in her eyes. This is Jasmine at the time. Jasmine was a con at this time. And she's legendary at this moment, too. I love Jasmine's hair. Like, it was so different. It was so glamorous. Jasmine has some of the nastiest hands in film point performance. But Jasmine's really known for her hair control. And she really gave us a nasty hair control moment. But like I said before, everybody who was falling out of their dips was really getting chopped. And Jasmine went out there and fell out of every single dip as well. I wish we could bring this type of judging back to ballroom. Like when you fall out of a dip, you get chopped. This is Davina, AKA Natasha. She looks so good. Like Davina looks like she's walking women's performance. She looks really good. You can't tell me Davina don't look like somebody's mom. <laughs> I'm not sure why Davina got chopped. I heard, thought her tens were unique, but I could I could see why she was voguing a little bit fast. It was kind of getting lost everywhere, but it was still entertaining. I enjoyed Davina, but Davina also got chopped. The sex kick in the Veronica Mugler. And granted, Veronica is not legend at this moment either. So all those ladies like Asia, Tamaya, Veronica, they all got deemed at latex like a couple months later in 2017. So the girls were very much in their up and coming statuses at this time. Get into Veronica. Like, Veronica has some of the best hands in the game. The duck walk is freaking disgusting. And she's like, that sex kid. I love Veronica. This is something about Veronica hands. I could watch Veronica do hands all day. Like, her hands really get it. In that duck walk. I'm gonna be honest though, as much as I love Veronica, she didn't do that much for her tens either. Like, it's like they were picking and choosing. Granted, Veronica didn't fall out of any dips and her performance was playing from beginning to end, I'll give you that, but it's like they picked certain people who they wanted rock sock and tens from. Tamaya versus Tutu. They came out at the same time, and Tutu has already had a vendetta against Tamaya for the things that Tamaya said to Tutu at a prior vote night. So they just always want it. Tutu just always wants it with Tamaya. The music stops, and Tamaya goes into her tents and goes into some of the best tents that we've seen that night. Like, Tamaya was really on fire from beginning to end. This hair stunt, and like, these perfect spin dips, like this boot moment, like the heart to my storytelling was just the deal from beginning to end. Like, Tamaya got the entire crowd. <laughs> 
to come crowd the floor for her attempts. That's how much she really shook the room. Tutu comes back out and she's serving us like this Statue of Liberty effect. Granted, Tutu is walking a category with a lot of senior femme queens that are like very much on their legendary status and Tutu is still a statement at this time. But Tutu still had a really nice, clean performance at this time. But if you look while she's doing these fan kicks, you can see that her catsuit is like split in the middle. And it doesn't look like that's a design's choice. And Ashley Icon chopped Tutu for having this rip in her catsuit. Because Ashley did say her performance was over, but the cat suit shouldn't have been shouldn't have been ripped like it was. Last person to get their tens is Tati Mugler. I really like Tati's tens because they really show her stretch. And she focused on a different level of her performance versus just spinning and dipping in 360s. It gave a different element to her performance. It was more soft, it was more cunty about the situation. Like It was definitely more femme queen about it in, in Tati's own unique way. Like and those those kicks were dope. Everything Tati did was was like a nice like calm ten, and this split was just so nasty. It's nice to know that so this was this moment is seven years ago. So Tati is very much in her up and coming legendary status. I won't be surprised if Tati gets deemed real soon. I really love that Milan took no prisoners and attempted to get that energy and the attention from her first. And you can tell that Milan is kind of close to Tamaya. But Tamaya was definitely not taking any prisoners either and really gave her that I taught you everything you know. I taught you how to be a woman that I know. Tamaya really screwed Milan this whole battle and Milan was following her the entire way. Tamaya was trying to bang her. No, my like to my game more involved. It's so caught up in trying to outdo to my that she gets tangled and she couldn't really do what she set out there to do. Like the attention was on to my to my basically. I love how Tamaya hugs her daughter, but not only that, she recently left the house of Balenciaga and the girls and the kids. They speak to my girls right here. Like, was so shady. I wish I could just see all the moments that you could catch on tape. Next up is Allison Prodigy versus Kamaya Ebony at the time. I think what's really interesting at this battle, about this battle, is that Kamaya really carried on Allison, but the crowd is so divided because the list happens in Philly. So the majority of this crowd is from Philly. So the majority of this crowd is rooting for Allison. It just goes to show you how biased people are in ballroom. That even when you're eating it, they're not going to go up for you. The people going up for Kamaya is like like the Juicies and like the people from New York on the side. Like the unbiased people. But the room didn't go up for Kamaya because this is a Philly set. 
I just want to show y'all the biases in ballroom. But catch Kamaya playing two different instruments into that perfect spin dip. And like, I hate the way that Kamaya falls out, but her artistry, her theatrics, the way her face always connects to her moves is so nasty. Like, Kamaya is really one of those ones. I just want her to land her dips more properly. But Kamaya definitely did Allison dirty. It was like Allison couldn't really tap in the way she wanted to. And Kamaya was just on fire from beginning to end from the way she started to, to everything. Um, next battle is Tati versus Tamaya. I feel like Tati was voguing way too fast for this battle to really, really tap in. And Tamaya was just on her on the right tempo. So it like let her moves connect this other type of way. And Tam Tati was going for like these crazy, like crazy dramatics basically, like Laomi S dramatics. And Tamaya was really giving soft and cunt, and it was just really, really connected. Like her elements between everything that Tamaya did from the catwalk to this move to putting her hair down to the slide. Like everything was just, it was nice, it was on tempo, it was on beat. And Tamaya is just, she even watched Tati do a stunt just to do another one and say, I'm just gonna put my arms up. Like, like. Tamaya was really battling Tati down and it really worked in her favor because all her moves connected the tempo really connected and Tati is just like it's voguing so fast that like you don't even really get to get in and appreciate everything that Tati's doing because it's happening so quickly Tamaya was just really ever Tamaya was just really able to counter everything that Tati was doing and at the end when she screamed them playing uh, I love it I'm not sure what happened with the picking of the battles, but this is Veronica's first battle and this is Kamaya's second. So somewhere along the lines, that got messed up. It shouldn't be Veronica's first battle. I don't know what happened to Kamaya in this battle, but it didn't seem like she didn't connect as hard as she did with that Allison battle. And I think it's because that was a rematch battle and she might have been intimidated, intimidated by Veronica a little bit. But honestly, I feel like Kamaya should have taken this battle. Like, I don't know if I had to pick one, I would definitely say Kamaya really ate Veronica. But when you're battling somebody who is a senior to your junior, you have to do a lot more to win. And I felt like Kamaya was doing a lot more, but she just needed to get in front and get the attention on her and really, you know, spotlight into her moves. But Veronica beat her so easily, and I don't really feel like Veronica did much to beat Kamaya in that battle. Final battle is... Veronica versus Tamaya. I love this middle finger stunt from Tamaya. She absolutely ate that. And get into the tick, tick, the poses that she does while she votes. I love that. But get into the fact that this is Veronica's second battle and Tamaya's third. It didn't feel like Veronica was really connecting to everything that was going on. She was kind of just like, it felt like she was just winging it. Like her performance felt like it had no direction. And this stunt is really, really nice. I just need Veronica to add some more levels to her performance. Tamaya's just eating it back there for me. And towards the end, Veronica started to copy some of the stunts that was Tamaya was doing this night. Like, I don't know. This was like not the most like pleasing battle, but I definitely say that it would have went to Tamaya. She was just a lot more fun to watch in this in this battle. Like. I feel like everybody in the room was rooting for Tamaya to win. And I love the fact that Tamaya and Veronica are girlfriends. Like, you see them hug. Veronica is happy for her. Like, I love that type of friendship.
Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave me a comment about who I should do next. I'm always taking your guys' ideas and putting them in the next video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Until then, I love you. See you next week.